Persona is a series that I view a lot like Pokemon. You know, good music, cool monsters, anime, uh, it's easy, it's sold out, and has nothing burger villains. See, because Persona is a slice of life with eh, optional monster killing, it means that all the bad guys, and I mean that literally, there are no girl bosses, all the bad guys just show up. Royal, Golden, and uh, kind of Reload all add new events for their villains. It's a clear issue, and the only way to solve it is by buying the game again, apparently. Uh, but did they actually do anything, you know, with all these revisions? Uh, did Atlas get depth and get me invested in the human antagonist? Kinda. Takaya sucks. He looks cool as shit, don't get me wrong, you know, Revolver Jesus is an icon, but he is easily the biggest potential man here. Did you know that the reason he doesn't wear a shirt is because he can't feel how cold it is? He also can't taste anything, which is why he's so darn thin. Uh, this is all never stated or shown in the game, by the way. Which might have something to do with the fact that he has maybe 20 minutes of screen time. Uh, all of which are dedicated to showing how crazy and evil he is. In my ideal world, he becomes Nyx after a Joker-esque story of trying to be a normal person and having someone close to him die. Um, this, I mean, I don't know if it sounds interesting or not, but I feel like it's a lot better than just doing Evangelion. I don't know how people say Persona 3 has a good story. It's, it's Evangelion, but bad. There is amazing, just incredibly obvious, untapped potential for a story about death and a man who does not want to live because he can't enjoy the things that you know regular ass people can enjoy he can't enjoy you know standing in the sunlight and, and feeling it on his skin he can't enjoy you know a, a juicy burger or you know uh i'm not gonna go there that's dirty point is takaya and strega as a whole could have potentially been really cool but that did not happen adachi is pretty good uh in in golden uh, he doesn't have a social link in vanilla Persona 4, so the fucker just kind of shows up and then you fight him. But man, do you get everything from that social link? I mean, from that and just really just everything about him, you can really tell that he, you know, he's he's lazy. You know, more than anything, he's lazy. But you know, additionally, also you know, entitled and misogynistic and apathetic. All incredibly great, obvious themes that you'd want to put for a villain in a game like Persona. Well, maybe not misogyny. Honestly, it's a shame that he stops being a character uh, once the game realizes that he's, you know, the killer. Uh, after that, he just stops becoming, you know, Adachi, and he's just the crazy killer who's like, who lets you go even though he could have killed you, and is like, he's a lazy person. He prefers not to work. Why would he let you go? And I know that the game tries to sell it as, oh, he likes you, so he didn't kill you. But what? Why would you? Why would you do that? just delaying things to, to move the story forward. It's such a, a awful fucking moment. Um, and I think like the overall impact and just uh, you know I, the message of the game is just is lost because Adachi is you know supposed to be the, the mirror to you in that you know he's a man child and you is like you know the Giga Chad who it, goes out to the, the middle of nowhere and makes the best out of nothing he easily could have been a miserable piece of shit like Adachi but you know made the choice and, and the, the, the effort to, to have friends um, but this the symbolism everything about this is immediately thrown away because now you have to fight like three gods after that and then you leave and then the credits roll Akechi is my favorite persona character uh, this is you know, pretty obvious. He's, you know, he's the dark guy. You know, he's he's the bad guy. He's gay, and he killed, you know, the the dad of one of the party members, and that isn't brought up er, as like a point of conflict. I mean, there was, you know, potential for you know great trauma there that just went unused. But we're, we're gonna move past that because that's for later. Adachi, as much as I love the guy, he doesn't make a lot of sense. What he wants is friends and to do a little bit of patricide, which is compelling. Until you remember that both of these could have immediately been solved once he got his powers and became, you know, a little fake celebrity or whatever. All he'd have to do is drop Shido into the metaverse, Adachi style, and leave him. And even if you want to contrive a scenario where um, Shido, being the deranged fucking psycho he is, manages to manifest a persona, Akechi could have killed him. 
he just fucking murdered him but no um for the story to work akechi wants to do some dramatic shit where he like um kills shido at the peak of his power even though he's not out for like an inheritance or anything so there's really no point in that now akechi's other motivation being the friend thing is admittedly more complex i mean uh but if he's still you know the detective prince or whatever he would have a head start making friends because that's something to talk about that's something to you know to put his name out there um and maybe he might run into having fake friends uh but that could be cool it's a game called persona wouldn't fake friends be like something interesting to, to sit through and not having a gaggle of seven assholes who just follow you and fade into nothingness because really you're the only one who matters what if Adachi had his own group of phantom assassins who just fucking killed people who were awful. How would someone who is, uh, you know, who was who was shunned and moved around from home to home and never really learned to uh, be close to anyone suddenly, uh, you know, take being in a position of, of leadership and, you know, deciding to become a vigilante, how would that affect him? These are you know amazing things that I, I would love to see someone write about but they don't exist it didn't happen uh, <laughs> um but you know let's talk about uh, even more what ifs um the reason adachi says he doesn't get close to anyone is because he's laser focused on killing shido which by the way is a task that would take what like two minutes to do if he was smart about it um, in one of the social links with Joker or whatever, I think he said something about a girl approaching him and, um, him turning her down because, well, he's gay, uh, but otherwise, you know, the Shido thing. Uh, but, like, if, if, without that, Akechi is someone who has built up this, this fake, nice, you know, people-pleasing little pretty boy persona, and you could have had the game called Persona be about a guy who puts on a persona, but you didn't do that. You, you, you. Uh, I, I hate Persona Three. It, 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 it baits me. It pulls me in with the, the promise and, and and all this potential of telling because because it's such a long game you you have the potential to tell these really long you know great drama dramatic stories about people and you know being fake and all this stuff but you don't do that you you just do the same formulaic shit over and over it, 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 you're just repeating persona 3 and all of its issues which and, and that's probably why the fans can't decide which is the best because they're all fucking dog shit and does that remind you of anything yes pokemon you can't ask a pokemon fan you, you yeah you can take a group of five pokemon fans and you ask them which pokemon game is the best and they will not be able to agree and let's say maybe a day later you ask them what the best pokemon game is they will give you different answers because they're all fucking bad you're just going through you're, you're cycling through levels and, and stages of delusion because they're all bad but I guess if I wanted to, you know, simply say things, I would reiterate that I want Persona to quit with these silent MCs and, I don't know, maybe give me something of substance.